good morning welcome to goodwill com trade in this video presentation we will see how we can trade in mcx copper market today before looking into that let us see what happened uh, yesterday that was uh, last friday and what happened on that uh, um, the chart you're seeing is seven minute candlestick chart and this candlestick indicates last Friday's price opening which shows that the market opened near 381.6. Uh, we expected um, copper to stay in downtrend. So right after the price opening, uh, the price just moved up uh, and found resistance around uh, uh, 382.6 and it continued selling uh, to reach uh, 379 and finally the price closed near 380.10. So it looks like uh, the price was uh, again dominated by the sellers, but when we see the volatility, it is not uh, very big. Uh, so what we can understand on seeing the price action, the price stopped a lot around 382. We could see that the price stopped a lot around 382 and uh, the price tried to move up, but resulted in a failure. Uh, so as a follower of our video presentation, in this new contract, we started selling, maintaining a 392 as resistance and we had made a good profit. Uh, today, you can expect a copper to open somewhere just uh, within uh, uh, 382 and 381. So what we can do today, how we can position ourselves for today's trading. Uh, now the situation is going to be a bit tough uh, because what we feel is that the price uh, cannot continue its downtrend. Uh, or there are chances that if the price can put something above 382, there are chances that the price can go for short term buying. So that's a part of our view. So, but we cannot go against the short term trend what is prevailing in the market. So what we can do today? So that's our question. Uh, so we need to take a minimum amount of risk. Uh, since we had made a good profit in copper uh, trading, if you see the last uh, four or five months, uh, we stayed along with the trend and we had made a wonderful profit. Uh, so that, that that is one of the reasons that uh, we are taking uh, now a extra bit of risk. Uh, since, we had uh, since we had good profit, uh, uh, so we went for a short around uh, 392. So now what we are trying to do is that we are trying to make some extra bit of risk. Uh, that is uh, by going for buying in copper market, maintaining uh, 379 as a stop loss. Uh, so uh, if the price is not going or moving above 382 or if the price is not moving uh, like what we are expecting again we will find the price breaking three, uh, 379 uh, so it's a type of a risky trade uh, uh, but what we feel is that we can uh, take this extra amount of risk uh, in copper trading so what we are expecting we are expecting buying to happen in copper market uh, uh, so the stop loss is also very minimum um, so that is the reason what we feel is that uh, by uh, giving a very minimum stop loss we can take this risk uh, so let us see what's going to happen uh, during the trading session and thanks a lot for watching our videos happy trading take care bye